Hey everybody, Jesse here with Adam's Budget Reviews. Today, I'm going to talk to you about this new addition I put into my server rack in the last uh, month or so. And this is an Encylon, I think it's L-S-I-L-O-N is how you spell it. It's meant by Dell EMC. This is the model NL400. I, the faceplate is taken off to expose the fans and to give better uh, ventilation from the front of the drive bay to the back of the chassis. Um, you can see here, one of my attempts is to modify the stock power supply um, to try to get rid of that whining little sound, okay? I bought a PWM controller, I tapped into the fan, which is a San Ace 36, which is a 36 millimeter fan. Um, incredibly difficult to find a silent version of a fan that's PWM uh, of that size. So my next step was to uh, buy a PWM controller and this allows you to adjust the fan speed um, and then you can monitor the um, server temperature on the inside to see if your fan speed is good enough to be able to exhaust the heat that's coming off of this power supply. So um, it is out of my server uh, because it was able to detect that there is a fault somewhere and there is a yellow light uh, that appears here. If it's in false state, or a green light if it's in a state that you can allow a boot. Uh, so it'll boot for two seconds and it turns off and the light turns on. So this is my last attempt to try to get the power supply to be quiet. Um, so what I've done with this unit, um, this is a 36 bay uh, SAS SATA uh, server for u height. Um, so I've got right here 56 terabytes of storage and I've got my two SSD cache drives in the back. Um, in my next video, I will pull out this unit, I'll open up the inside and I'll show you what it looks like inside. I've replaced the mid-plane fans with a, three 120 millimeter um, P, uh, PWM fans that are connected directly to the motherboard and not to the back plane. Because if you direct put it to the back plane, your fan speed is going to be at 100% at all times. And now, uh, I just got this working. And you can actually hear, if I'm going to be quiet, you can hear the rev up and rev down of the CPU fan. Here, take a listen. You hear that little revving up and down? So before today, it's been a month I've been working on this. I've been trying to get it quiet. All the fans were running, running at 100%. And it was deafening. I have an office here that is actually soundproof with rock salt everywhere. And uh, the only way I can run this server uh, from my home network was leave it in this room and close the door, which is also a soundproof door. But I have a nice uh, 48U rack that I want to be able to put this back into, uh, which is in my cinema room. And um, well, I'm looking forward to getting it back. Um, there is a faceplate that's not installed. I'll show it to you right now. This is also the fan shroud for the inside fans. Um, this is for a passive cooling. And um, I can tell you right now, with my fan swap in the mid-plane, it wasn't providing enough airflow from front to back to allow for proper CPU cooling, okay? So I replaced the CPUs with a, it looks like a Dynatron, but they're not. It's a cool something. I will put the link in the description below. It's a uh, LGA 1366 uh, active heatsink, um, which pulls air from the front, which is in this location, and it pulls it out the rear. Um, they work, uh, they work great, but the fan is a little bit noisy, so maybe I'll upgrade them to a Noctua uh, 6, I believe it's a 60 millimeter fan. So I'll be changing out those fans so I don't get to hear the whining up and down. Uh, but once it's in my closet, I don't think I'll really hear the noise that we're, uh, we're experiencing right now. So this is out of the housing for now. And this is the faceplate that goes onto the front of the unit. So this is an NL. 400 um, from EMC, which is a division of Dell, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's a little hard to find the history about this. I've never heard of them before. Um, I bought the whole server on eBay for roughly 300 Canadian, uh, which is a steal for a 36 bay 4U server chassis. Um, I paid an extra 100 bucks for the rails, which are absolutely solid, solid, solid rails. And um, so this is the faceplate that comes with it. Um, the only thing that lights up is the Encylon, which looks really great in the dark, lit up in the, in the closet. But I can't get this um, LCD uh, readout to work. 
Um, so if you have any ideas of how I can get that to work, it would be great. If I can get CPU temp um, and whatnot, um, I would absolutely love to make use of this uh, LCD. Um, this is the connector for it right here. It only looks like it's a 10 pin single sided connector. So I think it'd be pretty easy to be able to modify uh, that connector PCB that's coming out of the server chassis. And it, then it clips into the back of the faceplate right into these pins here. Uh, so it's just a press fit. So I'm sure, um, actually, it's, it's not this one. This is for a diagnostic. It's actually right here, but you probably can't see it. So let me see if I can show you the connector. So right there, okay? So there is where the faceplate slips into, which gives you um, controls here, which work and turns on and off the server, which is wonderful, but this doesn't light up. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how I can light that up. Okay, so this is just a uh, first little review of this uh, chassis. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, comment below. I always respond to um, some questions. And uh, look, uh, don't feel uh, shy to subscribe. Um, this is, what, my fifth video I post on here. Um, I am a server geek. I love it. I love storage. I'm a data whore. Um, so if uh, you are like me, uh, let me know, show me some interest, and I will post a lot more videos of my home theater and my server setup. All right, talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.